Welcome to the 2020 Film at West Covina Virtual Film Festival. Hello, and welcome to the 2020 Film at West Covina Virtual Film Festival. This year, we are proud to live stream the fantastic short films that our West Covina residents have created. We could not have done this without you. Thank you. Now, let's get this show started. Please welcome your hosts, last year's film festival winners, Carlos Acosta, Lauren Aquino, and Julianne Juarez. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Letty. I am so happy to be back and helping your community with this exciting project. Before the show starts, we would like to present our sponsors. We recognize and appreciate the kind donations of each and every single one of our sponsors. Without their generous contributions, we would not have been able to do this. So thank you. again to all our sponsors. This year's film festival theme is Together at Home. The films you're about to watch demonstrate what Together at Home means to each of the participants. Now, I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We begin with Wei Zhang's short film, A Bone to Pick. <laughs> I'm ready to go now, put on our seatbelt. Okay. Oh, wait. That's something. Wait. Where are you going? We're going to be late.
Now we have Silas Bravo's documentary on reselling shoes in a hidden fashion, Alejandro Jimenez. Senior Alejandro Jimenez might seem like just a regular student here at West Covina High School. Or you might just happen to know him as another baseball player. Little do you know that Alejandro has a passion for rare sneakers. This passion blossomed as he grew up watching basketball and his favorite players such as Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. I started reselling sneakers and clothes my junior year because my parents didn't let me get a job and I needed somehow to get money. I started off small, I started off with some birthday money. Then I went and bought some shoes that I knew I could resell for a couple more bucks. I flipped them, made some money, and just kept, kept it going. I've sold to people from all around the US to across the world, like in Spain, Australia, um, just everywhere, anywhere. So my first pair of limited shoes that I bought myself were these right here. Bought these my freshman year with my own money. Yeah, these are close smart too, I love these things. These are Jordan 4, white cements. Ever since I got these and I like found out there was money to be made, I just decided to keep reselling. So my biggest sale was a pair of these. I had two pairs of these and I sold my first for seven and I got it for 160. And yeah, I love these things. These are the Air Max 1 and 97 hybrids. Sean Witherspoon designed these. It's close to my heart. Alejandro sees himself continuing this business on the side, mostly as a hobby, because it's really fun to him and helps put some extra money in his pocket. This has been BNN, West Covina High School. Up next, Marisa Estrada show us what Avid is all about in her Avid promo video. My name is Vince Hernandez, I'm a senior. My name is Daniel Ponce, um, I'm a senior. In My name is Leanne Loaiza and I'm a senior in Mrs. Lawrence's AVID class and I am the AVID co-president. Well, AVID is a college prep class, but for me it's way more than that. For me it's a family, for me it's a place where I can get help for whatever I need. For me it's a place where I can just vent and like be myself and it's also like, um, like my rock here at school. Let you challenge yourself almost every day with uh, small things and big things such as uh, keeping my bag organized, uh, staying on top of my grades, having a great GPA and also maintaining that to stay in the AVID class. AVID is a program that allows us to advance academically in the aspect that it helps us prepare for the, to take the SAT and helps us become eligible to apply to four-year colleges. I believe AVID is a chance to express yourself and like learn throughout high school to work towards college. As a freshman, I was the little quiet girl that like never participated in anything and now I'm our club's co-president. I learned way more about college than I thought I ever would. It also allowed me to be more open-minded to see how different people's views are and um, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty good. <laughs> My name is Annalise Monavia, I'm a senior. My name is Andrea Ramirez, I'm a senior. My name is Christian Simple, I'm a senior in this son's AVID class. In AVID we learn organization skills and we also learn about colleges, how to apply to them, how to apply for scholarships. AVID is more than just a college prep program. It's another family that stands behind you. It guides you on this like path to becoming like a better version of yourself. And I feel like I've made a family and just bonds that I will never lose.
Ready for a laugh? Jason Mendoza will definitely entertain you in his short film, Best Day Ever. No school, bro. You're pulling my leg. No school. This is gonna be the best day ever. Bro, where is that tape? I look. Bro, boredom and how to conquer it by Roger Genius. He's a genius, you know. Bro, what? Come on. Come on. I loved. Bro, what? DVD. Oh, I could watch it online. But why didn't I have just. Okay. Smells like boredom in here. Yep. That's why you bought this tape, brother. Smell it on you. Get that stink off you, alright? This is how you conquer boredom right here. Pain. Pain so you can feel your body. Pain so you can feel your body. Pain so you can feel your body. Pain what you feel inside yourself. Pain what you feel inside yourself. What are you? What are you? Basketball makes you strong, fast. Dunk on them. Show your power. Splash. Hey, yo, Jocelyn. Yes, Jocelyn, you trying to play a game of basketball? I mean, I don't think you're ready. Straight from the bubble bar. Seven, seven. 440. Jocelyn, 5'5, five five, built different. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, just like the good old days. Like the good old days. On shoot. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Me. Up to five? Up to five. All right. Hey, look at that bird. Now, meditate. Meditate to cool down. Compliment yourself. If you love yourself, you will keep your body right. So, I'm Roger Genius. And you're a genius, brother. I'll tell you that. Genius for life. Brotherly love. Love you guys. Welcome, welcome to my sanctuary. Have no fear, this is a space for happiness, love, and abundance. Please, please sit. Join me in this experience. Now sit, crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce, yes. Oh my God. Okay, back straight, shoulders back. Deep breath in. And out. And reach into your inner self. I can't focus with that ruckus, Jason. So please stop. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Ready? Okay. 
Oh, that's it. Get out right now. I'm dancing the roof. <laughs> You are bringing in this negative energy that I don't need right now. Just whatever, bro. You know what, Jason? Just whatever, bro. Whatever. Don't you forget about me. Da, na, 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 na. See what goes on in the separate lives of Daniel Key and Julian Fabian in their film, Com Si Com Sa.
This mother and daughter duo, Casey and Carol Shubin, gives us an inside look at what their life was like during these hard times in Dear COVID. You have taken away a lot of cherished time with loved ones. We've missed out on a lot of celebrations and everyday activities. Graduation, celebration with family, Mother's Day, Father's Day, getting your hair cut, and going to the groomers. Some would say it's been a roller coaster of emotions and all you want to do is sleep. There are some things that you cannot take away. You have forced us to think of creative ways to celebrate. Spending time with each other, teaching my daughter how to cook, and learning new recipes has been something we look forward to each day. Along with attempting to entertain ourselves. Game nights have been more popular in our household. Exercise has not been a priority, and some need a little coaxing, so we help them out. Since we can't go dancing, we bring the dancing to our home. No matter how ridiculous the dance moves might be, it just feels good to laugh. More than anything, this unusual set of circumstances has given us more time with each other. Some would say their life has gotten better. These creative minds, Mateo and Marisol Torres, came up with an original idea in directing myself. Okay. Okay, Mateo, okay. you're gonna do this. You're gonna run like deep is trying to bite you, mm -hmm. and um, run like a dinosaur, or like, I don't know, any animal, and just run like this. Ah! Hey. Action. Ah! Good. Good job. <laughs> no. Oh. Three, two, one. Action. Okay. Good job. Okay. Don't do that. Ready, set, action. <laughs> no, just don't look that way. Look that way. Like that way. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Three, two, one, action. Oh, <laughs> Down again? Lay down? Wait. Yeah. Look slowly up and go like this. Ah! Oh. Good job. Good morning. 
Let's see. And never touch this camera, okay? Let's Stop see. Asking. See my video. I need to go. I need to get off my. We're going to throw this camera. We're going to zip on the camera. Okay? And we're going to do the video shots. Okay? Three. Oh no! Three, two, one. Action! Good job. Go? And go! Okay. That? Okay, that was a great shot. Yeah, take that. Mark Chavez and Moises Vera sure know how to cook up a good breakfast in their short film, Good Morning. really good man. Both Crystal and Patrick Zang know the best ways to have fun in their film High Fun at Home. Hello everybody, welcome to our Crystal Stores and I am Crystal. Today we are mm, I remember my friend gave me a magical wand. Now I was going to use it to Bing! Mm, 
要出现呢？哔哔哔！现在呢，我要用这个魔棒把十万给变出来，哇哩哇哩，变出来十万了。Yes, nothing there. Check, nothing, nothing. Put the put the right here, and voila! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 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 Rock
Is it a place or a person? People say that the best sleep is when you feel the most at home. For me, home is here with you. Home is when your pets greet you at the door when you get home. It's the waiting porch light that shines your path from the driveway. It's turning off the GPS when you get off the freeway, knowing every road that leads you to the front door. It's knocking out on the couch with the TV still on and having someone wrap a blanket around you so you don't get cold. It is feeling safe, secure, comforted. It is feeling warm, welcomed, and loved. Home is knowing that whatever happens outside in the world, you will always have a place to come back to. It's knowing that even when you leave to chase your dreams, you'll find security in returning. It's when you know the world can be scary and keeping a smile can be hard, but the warmth of your family's pride gives you the strength to carry on. Home is dumping your bags on the floor after a 12 hour shift and craving a warm, relaxing shower. Home is where the best snacks are, the goldfish and the PB&J and a juice box. Home is where your heart belongs. Home is not defined. It's not a place or a person. It's a sense of peace, of joy. It's a feeling, a feeling felt in our hearts. It's here, here, and here. It's you, and you, and you. Together at home. As Audrey Lee, Katie Dan, and Julian Velasquez say, there is beauty around us even at home, in reference to their film, Lackadaisical.
Get ready for an adventure with Angel Cole and Jolene Jimenez in the film Lost in LA, Coming Home to You. How'd you fail to mention that you might be moving in four months to London? Now our days are now, should I try? I wonder, way how far is London? I need my current location. Jessica Juarez brings the movie theater experience home to enjoy with her family in her film, Movie Night. Watch Samuel Luong take us along the progress in his backflip journey.
go. These three boys take on a thrilling journey in Moises Vera's film, On the Clock. Hey, maybe we should go and check on him. Or maybe we shouldn't. But what if he's dying? We haven't seen him in a couple weeks. He hasn't even gone to use the restroom. Come on. Dude, he does. He used the restroom all the time. I heard him yesterday. Wow. Well, I'm dude, gonna I'm, go in there. I'm sure you're fine. Dude, nah, dude, I'm dude, there's a keep out time. Oh, you think I care about the sign, Sean? Let's go. Forty fifth to the ninth. <sighs> What? That's it? Just what? Did you not see the sign? Did I told you? What is all this? 70 minus 85 over 3A? Don't touch that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god! Don't touch. Yeah, don't touch! There's no sign that says no touch. So what are you doing? I think I've got it. This may challenge everything we've learned and believed in, but with change comes a new chapter, and this is it. What are you talking about, Eric? Have you gone insane? Insane? I might be able to do what everyone thought was impossible. I might be able to time travel. Time travel? Well, according to the math and the 27 laws of science that correlate with the system of time travel, including the teachings of others before me, I think I might know the system. According to the parable, it's linear, so that means that... What just happened? Dude, we're in the 50s. No, we just shrunk. How is this even possible? It must have been something with a time continuum in the mainframe. This doesn't make any sense. English. What? English, what does that mean? You just don't understand. The time machine has a cooldown. You realize that if we don't meet that cooldown, we'll stay like this forever. So how long is the cooldown time? The cooldown is 120 seconds. But as of right now, the time we wasted, we only have 90. What? An hour, an hour, we have an hour. Where'd you even get an hour from? Never mind, we don't have time for this. I know the exact equations to get us out of this. But the thing is, I just need to get up there. All right, let's go. How are we gonna get up there? You can probably hit the table, so the cable can fall down just beneath it. That's actually not a bad idea, Sean. My bad. Hey, Sean, push that broomstick over. Let's see if I can get up. Perfect! You sure about this? There's no time left. I have to do this. What the? 
Yeah, where's your hat? This is not my top priority right now. Hey guys, check out, check out this little baby hat. You don't like that? No, what? Hey guys, there's actually an error in the system. It seems that I could send you guys back to the 1990s. That would kind of suck, huh, right guys? Guys? Yo, bro, where are we? Is that a blockbuster? Or what? Me, Andrade, and Brianna Avalos give us hilarious content in their comedic film, Our Quarantine 2020. Our Quarantine 2020. Hope you enjoy. It all started with some yoga. Hey guys. Ankles, hold my ankles, ankles, ankles. Oh my god, you know it. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Oh, like that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> Push it again, what happens? My 
are you running? Why are you running? Why? <laughs> A little dance session. Thanks for watching. Yusuf Arafin shows us the reality of what it's like being stuck at home in his film Quarantine. See what Daniel Inchowski has been up to in the short film, Quarantines. Sister Levison. Yeah, bro, you know we've been tight like that. Can you stop, man? Hard. So why are you guys here again? We just wanted to check out on you, man. You're never in the group chat, you're never on your Instagram, and I asked a bunch of people on you, they said you never talk to them no more. That's true, man. So like, what have you been doing over quarantine then? I'm just chilling. So like, you've been good, right? Not sad over a girl or anything. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so like, if you're good, then we're gonna do. Yeah, that's Yeah, right. Sure. So. Thanks for coming, guys. No problem, man.
Enjoy the cinematic experience, Saturday by James Rincon and Claire Flores. Celeste, Cortez, and her family are making sure to do their part in keeping themselves and others safe in her film. Seven Smiles That's me. 
and that's my family. Several people, including us, have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. So, we're trying to do our part by wearing a mask when we go out, washing our hands, staying six feet apart from others, and so much more. Yes, being in quarantine sucks, but we all need to do our part in order to keep the people we love safe. Shorty creates a unique video about her family members in stuck in quarantine. This group of friends, Drew Valdez, Gabriel Ayala, Jasmine Bain, Rejoice Griffiths, and Jasmine Virios put on their best acting skills in their film, Together at Home. I forgot my mask. Oh, don't worry, I got you. Are those used? Yeah, but, I mean, they're reusable. Yeah. I mean, you want me to like disinfect it or what? Oh my. Are you serious? Yeah, it's linen sky and happy spring. Your choice. I'm gonna just get one inside. Dude, you're messy. Your mask, it's on wrong. Pull it up. Pull it up. Okay, Dr. Fauci. Oh, it's closed. It's closed. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Are you gonna open the door? Hang on, I'm just getting some sun. It's hard to breathe in these. Just tell me about it. You want some sanitizer? Oh, no, I got my own. Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs> I'd give you some, but I have to save it. So. Oh, it's okay. I have my own here. I'll just... So we're here setting up for the new Tenets movie. Um, I know we're a little early because it doesn't start until fall, but Christopher Nolan's gonna blow our freaking minds. Right, Drew? I mean, you talk about movies like Inception and... Um, Inception. I just said that. 
and um, just like, I mean, just he just has a lot of great films. I just, I'm so excited. <coughs> God damn it. What? Are you seriously? What? No, seat. no, it's, no, seat. it's just allergies, back though. Seat. It's just allergies. Back seat. Jasmine, I said backseat. Are you serious? I'm so seriously right now, it's not even funny. You good back there? So um, today I'm going to be practicing for the COVID test. Um, I heard the actual one is pretty intense. Um, so I, I have a Q-tip here and I'm just going to jam it as far as I can down my nose because I heard that's, that's basically how it is. COVID canceled my two-hand touch league this year. So I've just kind of been trying to run and keep socially distant, you know? You know, one of the most important things right now is to make sure you uh, really disinfect all the packages you get. Um, you know, it's a real bummer when you you pay for something and they send it to you and, you know, it ends up giving you the coronavirus or something like that. Um, you know, it's just, it just can be really un unfortunate. But uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I've kind of been running out of this stuff a lot lately. I don't know why. That wasn't that bad. Are you guys doing shots? Charlize Cardona gets creative with her short film, Under the Roof, with Snoop and Spoof. China says the number of people infected by a mysterious respiratory virus has more than tripled over the weekend. There are now 218 confirmed cases of the new coronavirus. Public schools will be closed until at least April 20th possibly even longer. I can't watch that anymore, but it did give me an idea. A few minutes later. Spoof! Join me. Come watch these family videos with me. Now do you see why family is important, especially during these times? Nope! They're just people we're forced to hang out with. You have to understand 
family is the most important thing. Hello, I'm working for Los Altos Food. I am district manager from sales. We have a lot of produce on the market right now. This is the kind of cheese, queso fresco, and this is the crema natural. Enjoy. I'm a nurse and I love helping people. I love reading Harry Potter. They're in my favorite books. Go Gryffindor! Yeah! I guess you're right. Family is important because many people don't have that in the world today. The observant duo Christian Villanueva and Alonzo Soto speak their mind in the watchful eye. Well, hello. You're way too pretty to be sitting alone in the park. And based off your rager persona, combined with your emo t-shirt. You're obviously trying to be a vegan, but you just can't commit. You walk around with your different clipboards, each filled with blank pages to give yourself a sense of power over your peers. You also enjoy eating Greek yogurt. And not that your bony crap, no, 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 no. You're much more sophisticated than that. Now, there's definitely no more than 15 pounds in that vest. But you wear in front of everyone to make you feel more macho. You boast about your favorite movie, The Godfather, for its aesthetics and the performance you speak so highly of. Yet, you never made it past the one hour and 23 minute mark. Your deepest fear is the thought of you never owning enough pants because all the ones you own either seem to wear out or tear. And every time you try to buy new ones, you dread the whole process of trying them on with the rare chance that someone will walk in on you changing. And you, well, You've been coming here for 20 days, but have caught nothing. But you don't do it for the fish. You do it to escape. But why here? Maybe it dates back to that childhood memory of your father, bringing you to this very spot to catch your very first fish. That feeling of accomplishment. Man, what a big day that was for you. You make peace with Earth. You just enjoy everything that surrounds you. The sound of the water brushing against the rocks. The sight of the seagulls flying over the lake. Even the aroma of the cool breeze pressing up against your cheeks. 
Just an eerie sense of bliss. Complete silence. Check this guy out. Just sitting there by the tree all by yourself. You can't help yourself from viewing people differently to make yourself feel superior from others. You come up with these crazy stories for each person that walks past you and you belittle them. I'm sure you think you feel all wise, but actually you have no idea what you're talking about. It's just pathetic. In Welcome Home by Maureen Smith and Elizabeth Esparza, watch as the self-transformation begins. Hestia, uh, never mind. Can't my hair be something different? So, and what do you mean you're down for it? Well, since you're going to be my new home, I can see that you have a really great quality. Oh, by the way, call me Alicia. Wait, why Alicia? And, um, a, a new ho home? Talk now, that's fine. 
You know I'm here for you because of our friendship stuff. So yeah, don't do anything stupid, okay? Maybe none of them worked out because you already have one. I still want to be myself, my own. And maybe you should try it too. But we'll... I'll never be the enough home. Well, no one said homes were perfect. That's why we have others to make it better. I mean, I even have a hard time. And we can all be a home together. So, what's your home? It's Chavi? Yeah, Chavi. Welcome home, Chavi. So, about Patrick. Jackie Liang takes us through her family's background and how they spent quarantine together in her film, What It Means to Be at Home. I have four members in my family, and this is my twin bro, who's quiet, logically smart, bad with interactions, but super, super blunt. And next up is my mom, who's like a superhero who does cooking, shopping, and taking care of us, almost everything. And my dad, who's super flexible, chilling in the couch, but he's a hardworking guy who raised enough money to take care of our family. And there's me, outgoing, responsible, but still lazy. As you can see, I'm wearing my PJs. With such diverse characteristics, this is how our family went through quarantine. For our final showing, 
Devin Campbell gets active in his short film, Will. Thank you to all who submitted those wonderful short films. We hope you all enjoyed the show. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Please welcome our five judges. They have taken the time to watch every single film and rate them to select these evening winners. Hello, my name is Victoria Esker and I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions at the USC School of Cinematic Arts. I want to thank Film at West Covina for allowing me to be a part of this film festival. I also really, really enjoyed watching all of your different short films. Keep up the great work. Hi, my name is Michael Flowers. I'm a governing board member of the West Covina Unified School District and proud, proud judge in this year's 2020 Film at West Covina Film Festival. This year we have a lot of wonderful submissions from our West Covina community, but in particular from students in our West Covina Unified School District. Thank you all for participating. On behalf of the superintendent and staff and the Board of Education, we are proud of you all. Hi, my name is Ming Pen. I'm the founder of Ming Creative Studios and Art Academy. I'm also a visual art director for Hollywood Film Productions, having worked on Snow White and Huntsman, Ant-Man, Captain America, Avengers, and many more. I'm pleased to be back to this year's film festivals. I hope you all enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Grant Sermi, and I've been an editor in film, TV, and commercials for over a decade, doing shows like House of Cards and Mindhunter for Netflix. I just want to say thank you to the Film at West Covina Committee for having me be a part of this wonderful community event. Hi, uh, my name is Tony Wu, and I'm the mayor of West Covina. I'm so happy to see such a great community event. Thank you to our residents for taking the time to participate. Now, is the most exciting time to announce the winner. Thank you, judges. The categories that will now be announced are Best Editing, Best Sound Design, Best Cinematography, and Best Visual Effects. However, first, here are the 2020 Film at West Covina staff pick winners. Congratulations, you will each receive $25. Now, let's get ready to announce the winners. In the category of Best Sound Design, the winner is Saturday by James Rincon and Claire Flores. Congratulations. In the category of Best Visual Effects, the winner is On the Clock by Moises Vera. Congratulations. In the category of Best Cinematography, the winner is 
poem by Jolene Jimenez and Angel Cole. Congratulations! In the category of Best Editing, the winner is On the Clock by Moises Vera. Congratulations to everyone who won one of these categories. You have each won $50. Now it's the moment you have all been waiting for. Here are the awards for the top three films of the Film at West Covina's Virtual Film Festival. In third place, the winner is A Bone to Pick by Wei Jiang. Congratulations, you won $300. In second place, The Winner is on the Clock by Moises Vera. Congratulations, you won $500. In first place, the winner is, drum roll please, Home by Jolene Jimenez and Angel Kuo. Congratulations, you won $800. Congratulations to all of tonight's winners. Now, we have a special announcement to share with you all. We will be hosting a drive through ceremony where we distribute prizes to the winners along with t-shirts and masks to all of our participants. The ceremony will be hosted on September 4th from 6 to 7 p.m. at Hearst Ranch in West Covina. We will post more details on our social media platform soon. Can't wait to see all of you there. I want to thank everyone for participating in this year's virtual film festival. Despite our current circumstances, we hope that you were able to enjoy this event at home with friends and family. Once again, congratulations to all the winners. We hope to see you all again next year. Until then, Film It West Covina thanks you all. Have a good night.